Okay, now we're actually inside the cotton company and what I wanted to show you was well, you can see these very big red oak beams that we have here. The purpose of them is you look across the top. This was part of the restoration of the cotton company. Leave stuff alone. Keep it the way it was historically. The reason they have these very big beams is remember, we had cotton coming upstairs at 400 pounds a bale, many, many bales, and they were throwing it around on top, so you had to have good support. But let me show you the intriguing thing about the cotton company that a lot of people don't know about, and they think this was done just as a safety measure, but it wasn't. Right here is the old sprinkler system that was originally, or that was put in here at a later date after the cotton company started. The sprinkler system, people think it was put in because there was cotton dust and you wanted to hold down any fires. That's not true. The story behind this sprinkler system, and we would not, when this place was renovated, which we won an Anthemian Award, which you don't know about, but the Anthemian Award is an award for doing a good job when you're trying to save something. When we were doing this, we did not want to get rid of the sprinkler system. It's too historic to the building. But what actually happened was Mr. Holding, who originally owned the cotton company and was buying cotton from the farmers on the front side and selling it on the back side, putting it on the railroad, he bought the cotton and he paid them by the pound. The cotton came in this building weighing 400 pounds a bale. By the time the cotton went across, and we're talking maybe 200, 300 feet, and was put onto the railroad, which would be a couple, three, four days later, it only weighed 320 pounds. So Mr. Holding one day was saying, wait a minute, how in the world am I losing 80 pounds of cotton, and it's only coming in the front side going to the back side? And he had a man here, his name's Richard, and Richard heard me telling a story in here one day, and he came in and supplemented the story so he would to, to make and that's where I learned this part. Richard went in to Mr. Holding. He said, Mr. Holding, let me see if I can't solve your problem for you. And Mr. Holding said, I'd love you because I'm losing money because I'm losing 80, 80 pounds of cotton every time. Richard started looking and he realized because of our hot summers, the cotton was actually coming in moist. It stayed upstairs where it was hot and the water actually evaporated. So by the time the water evaporated, then he got to the back and he'd lost 80 pounds of water. So what Mr. Holding was really doing, he was buying 320 pounds of cotton and 80 pounds of water. And he says, this is not going to work. So this sprinkler system was actually put in to rehydrate the cotton. It wasn't put in as a safety factor. Now, once Richard had solved the, pro the problem, and this is directly from Richard as he told me about this, Mr. Holding called him into his office. And he says, Richard, I appreciate what you've done. And Richard was 17 years old, just graduated from high school. He says, I appreciate what you've done. I got you a little present. And he handed him the title to this new, this new purchase he had made of a 1957 Chevrolet. And he would bought it on time. And he says, I appreciate how much you've saved me. And he gave him the title to the 1957 Chevrolet. And that was from Mr. Holding to Richard for helping him with the problem.